Hey guys, Denis Kozer here. In this video I want to show you how to make this Edison lamp. First of all, we will model it in 3D Max and then make some renders in Corona. If you're new on the channel, consider to subscribe. Here I explain architectural visualization in a simple way. Let's get started. Okay, so first of all we need to load some nice reference. I think this will be nice. So I will make some plane. It will be square, so I make it 20 by 20 centimeters and change length segments. Next I just drag and drop it and here we need to adjust the size. I know that this sphere must be like um, 7 and 5 centimeters radius. I press Alt X or you can go to object properties and here you need to enable see through and by object. Next I scale the reference so it matches up with the sphere and now we can continue. I will rotate it by 90 degrees and uh, then apply edit poly and uh, turbo smooth modifier. Next as you can see I'm not sure that video will show this up, but if you begin render with uh, this topology, in, it can produce some artifacts. To switch between Edit Poly and Turbo Smooth, I will use this button, Show End Result, and I bind it on a hotkey, so I can make it easy and fast. Next, I will delete these polygons and then select the border with the shift key extrude and uh, then with the scale it's important to scale this inner corner where you will be changing the proportions circle will become ellipse i doesn't want it hope you too and here we just match it with the reference so it look nice and smooth next you finish it with something like this or it can be tighter i hope it will work as you can see, first element we made with primitives and then shape them by edit poly with turbo smooth. Now we can use line with lathe modifier. I will repeat the profile of this element. Here I will go with the straight line and here add some vertices and finish it. I will align this vertex with the top one and then add lathe modifier. Next choose weld core and we can adjust the profile of this element. I also make object properties see through and here I will make some BZM like this so it looks nice and smooth. Here I can just change vertex type. In this part we can use fillet and make it more round. The same thing I will use here. Maybe another one for this vertex and here we can change it to smooth. Here you can use chamfer if you want to make it more sharp and here chamfer as well. Next if you want you can add segments, maybe 32 will be enough. And here we can see some edges conflict with the glass. So I will change the position like this and I think it will be enough. For this glass I will add shell modifier and uh, change inner amount to something like 015. Nice. Next we can hide this shape. Next we need to make something like this and um, if you want to make this spiral effect I will just uh, show the principle and in the time lapse you can watch how I made it. This needs to be aligned with the bottom lathe. Here you can change align to minimum. And here we have a little bit different example. So we need to add edit poly modifier, then turbo smooth. And for the top I will add some edges like this. And um, to select these edges I will select this vertex. Then with control change to edge and then connect. And now it looks much better. We can also add another segment and it will be nice. Next we need to add some edges here. I think it needs maybe something like this or I hope this will work. Next we need to add some edges at the bottom. I will also push down this element and next I will add some edges on this ring like this. Maybe a little bit more. Okay, that's fine. Add some connections here and um, 
select all polygons then deselect top one and uh, change scale it by this axis next we need to select this loop and scale it back also we need to scale this one like this yes it will be nice next you can choose these vertices I use soft selection select a little bit more of them and um, move it up like this here we can also change them like this and it will be nice on the render after that we can add these lines they go from here and like this i will change them all to smooth and uh, adjust okay next i will copy and uh, rotate by 180 degree next i will delete this vertex change it like this maybe a little bit of that okay fine it looks pretty well enable in render and in viewport and change the thickness fine next we need to make these elements so i will begin the line from the center and here add some vertex change thickness something like this move it here change the mold to smooth maybe bezier will work better and um, in the perspective i will move it that nice you just massage it so it looks like you want and i hope this will work for me next we need to change pivot point to the center after that you can use tool array change total and preview next move it on the y axis i will change to the perspective so we can see them and here we need to rotate it by 90 degree change the count so they roughly aligns with the reference and i hope this will work next okay and then change this upper one like that and this will be here okay nice i think another one okay fine next we need to add the spiral you can try to make it with the helix but this one will not look like like we want it to be and here if we change to editable spline as you can see here we have so many vertex this doesn't look right and another trick here if you want to make it smooth even if you change the vertex type it doesn't you need to change segment select them all then change from line to curve and now the they begin look like you want it to be but for this case I will delete it and uh, make some spiral by myself select them next choose line and begin to make spirals first in 2d then in 3d dimensional space and here you can roughly make as many as you want after that you need to adjust them this one will go here and this one will be here next i just change the position of this vertex so they match with these holes here i will speed up the video or it will be a very long time then you just convert this all vertex to smooth and uh, you get these nice random lines you can adjust them if you want and after you're happy with the result change thickness so they appears a little bit larger maybe like this and uh, then unhide all now it looks much better you can add coronalite material to the spiral i will hide the bulb next i will select these ctrl q to select them all and isolate them Next I will create another corona material and make it metal. Change diffuse to zero, crank up reflection and reduce the glossy. Next I will change Prenov IUR to 10 and uh, this will be enough for this material. 
we can also assign this material to this part and uh, after that we need to add another corona material name it glass reduce diffuse to zero change reflection a little bit less glossy and one for refraction then assign it to this and um, for this object now it's okay but we need some more elements i will delete the reference add the line here and here next i will fill it this corner add a lathe modifier line disable in render and viewport lathe here minimum shell maybe zero two and um, i think it's okay but we need some cylinder here rotate it by 90 degree change the radius like this and move it to the center okay edit poly modifier and uh, reduce high segments to one then add edit poly modifier and change it like this then if you want you can extrude these edges a little bit like that and here okay after that you can chamfer them like that okay next we need some wires so i will create line from here here and here refine some spot here and change this to smooth this one to busier and uh, it's okay enable and render enable in viewport change the thickness now create another material black paint three for diffuse reflection one glossiness of 76 Add some dirty to the reflection glossiness and reduce it opacity to 45 maybe this will work and here we need to add corona trip lunar and change the size maybe 15 so uh, we can view it in the diffuse color assign to the object first this and show in viewport okay we will look in the corona interactive i think we can change the size 25 good enough yep and uh, let's make another one from this change glossiness to 46 and assign it to these two elements nice maybe here 65 okay after that we need some nice hdri i will use something like this or maybe another evening hdri this can work i will use this next i will add it to the corona tab here next start interactive let's change the glass material so it have absorption we can set here the distance maybe 05 and uh, change the color i will choose this something warm and uh, next we need to make some composition i will add some trees like this don't forget all these lamp elements group together next i will move this lamp up here and uh, create around the camera so maybe like this and change the settings so it will 50 millimeter length here i will change to cameras corona camera and move it up to the lamp next i will move it a little bit closer like this and uh, rotate it maybe this change frame size to full hd and next we can add some instance of these two copies rotate it and move them okay this will be nice after that change the camera target so it aim to this lamp next i can move camera a little bit down like this okay and move them up nice change position of the tree so we have more green color in the frame okay and we can add some foreground like the background so we need to rotate it and find some useful elements we want maybe this part to be in the camera oh these ones will be nice so we can move it a little bit closer okay 
next we need to move these lamps a little bit far away maybe like this this move here and change the target on the lamps okay nice now let's take some test renders this one looks okay i hope we can make them a little bit closer now let's copy these three and place it here so we have more green color in the frame this one nice after that we need to rotate hdri map and maybe something like this will work or maybe like that next you need to adjust the camera settings and here we will enable depth of field change f-stop number to 5 and 6 here you can see this nice blurry effect next we need to change corona light at corona color text map intensity maybe 50 kelvin temperature 3500 will be enough to make it warm and nice here we need to change contrast 5 filmic shadows 1 vignette and uh, add bloom and glare bloom maybe 20 let's look at some lut this one looks nice for me because it gives this cold and warm effect and i will change opacity next we need to enable sharpen and blurring and uh, decrease the blur radius also we can change f-stop number to maybe 4 so it washes these foreground leaves more next i change bokeh override bladed and five next you need just to start production render and wait until it gets done you can also add some more interesting effects to the glass so you can add some fingerprints to the reflection glossy change reflection glossiness maybe to 50 and uh, add some noise map to bump slot sorry bump not the displacement one and here change to 01 this will make some interesting variations curves in reflection so let's make some tests now as you can see glass looks more realistic you can change reflection glossiness to maybe 35 or map and also we need to add corona tree planar so it works okay and change noise size to maybe two you can increase this for a moment to make sure that the bump is okay yes that's nice zero one and for corona triple r i make 25 centimeter we can add some material to look how it works i will assign it for a moment so here we can see that this scale is okay you can change it to something like this or maybe this just find what will work in your case and assign the glass material so now it looks much more interesting and we're ready to go if you want you can decrease bump even more so it will be 65 next i will advise you to make noise level limit maybe 8 will be nice and uh, denoise full denoise so save it and then begin the render that's all for now hope you like it and find some useful things that you can use in your workflow if you have any question please let me know in the comments below the video see you next time bye